Hi guys, uh, Neil here from ASCAD Services. I'm going to show you uh, something, and I'm always asked about this whenever I train people. How did you do that, Neil? And what it is, basically, is if I were to use this tool on the Objects Ribbon menu, it says uh, Column, so this creates a column automatically. And I'm going to put that, uh, beg your pardon, I'm going to put that at 0, 0. And there it is, so it's drawn a column. And it's called automatically column because it's been drawn in a macro. This is effectively a macro. So, and it's given it the model role column. Uh, if I go to my home ribbon menu and click on it, it's also put it on a layer of columns. And the reason I do that, I'll show you. If I go to extended modeling and I draw something else that is macro driven, so for instance, a portal or gable frame, and I'm just going to put a portal frame in. And you'll notice that the two columns are on the column layer and the beams are on the beam layer. And the reason I do this is because if I use, for instance, select similar, it'll ignore the beams and it will only select the columns. If I select the beams again, select similar, it'll only select the beams and not the columns. So I've separated the columns from the beams. Of course, if I were to draw a column in manually, and I give it the model role name columns or column, it doesn't automatically assign it to the columns layer. I would have to physically put it on that layer. So this works when the column is created automatically via a macro. So that would be this tool here, columns, or in extended modeling, any of these tools here. If there's a column involved, it's going to put it on the column layer. So how do I do it so that it automatically assigns to columns? Well, that's the object of this video. So let's go to, this is in advanced till 2021. Let's go to 22 because I've not done it in here yet. So um, what I'm going to do is just demonstrate. Let me just put this in again at 0, 0. And you can see there, look, it's not put it on the columns layer. It's put it on the standard beams layer. And again, if I draw a portal frame, it would be the same. So step one will be to create a columns layer and uh, you probably know this but if I wanted to create a new layer I go into layer properties and uh, this on the home ribbon menu of course layer properties and I click on this icon and a dialogue will come up layer name and I can assign the color I'm going to delete this one because I've already got one so if I look now I have created a new layer called columns there it is there look and I've assigned color 125 to it. Step one. What we need to do now, we need to associate any column drawn in a macro to that layer. And how we do that, we do it through the um, table editor in advanced still. So management tools, of course, home ribbon menu again, management tools, table editor. And the first thing we need to do, we need to open the installed databases. So we click on this tool here and here they are and we could hunt through there and we could go and look for the database table that controls layer assignment where we have an easier way of doing that of course we can use the filter and if we type in layer you can see it features in two tables as the rules so we're not really interested in this one uh, but we are interested in as the base object layer assignment and what we want to do now, we need to populate this table with our new uh, columns layer type, layer name, beg your pardon. So what we do, we go to this blank, so we scroll to the bottom there, look, and we go to this blank uh, line, and we can start typing. Now we could start at 83, but the problem then is if Autodesk later on decide to add other lines in the table their next line will be 83 of course and it would interfere with ours so ours would get overwritten so if we start a bit higher than that let's say we start at uh, 100 what we need to do now we need to select the model role for our columns and we know if we look in the model roles it is actually column 
if I can find it. There it goes, column. Okay, so we assign the model role. The object type is going to be uh, a beam, okay? Or it's going to be uh, any object type. We can call it any object type. Probably safer to call it any object type. We then need to type in here the layer name that we created and I know mine is called columns with an S. So we've now associated the model role with the layer name columns. Now in here what we could do we could click on Autodesk but what will happen is during the next uh, release of Advanced Steel the system will read this Autodesk as owner text and go ah that must have been a default in the original one and it will ignore it. So what I've done, I have created me as a user, ASCAD services. So I'm going to use that one. But you can use any of these others. So you can use UK, for instance, but anything other than Autodesk. So if you use UK, that would be fine. My company, you could use my company. I've created a profile for myself, so I'm going to use this one. And that's it. Now, we don't need to press any save buttons or anything because it's in a database. It automatically writes this into the database on the fly. So if I come out of that database and go into this one and then back again, you'll see that it's remembered these settings. So I'm going to close this and we're done. What I do need to do though, I need to load that database back into the system because at the moment when we had started advanced still the database were loaded, it will carry on using those. So uh, if I click on this button again in the home ribbon menu there, look, update defaults. What this does, this rewrites the databases into the current version of advanced still or the current running session of advanced still. If I now click columns, and we do the same exercise again. I'm going to put this at zero, zero. And there it is. There's my column. And you can see if I click on it, it's assigned to the columns layer. So that's it. Quite simple, guys. Two stages. First off, create your layer. Whatever you're going to call it. Second stage, management tools. Table editor. Open the tables first. You have to do this, open the databases or else you won't uh, be able to use the filter. Type layer, as to base, object layer assignment and create the new association there. The reason it doesn't work here is because there's no model role assigned to this. There, look, model role none. It doesn't know it's a column yet. So it won't assign it to any layer other than the beams layer. Of course, because this is in a macro, it's given automatically the model roll of columns. So then it is assigned to that layer. That's it, guys. Nice simple one for you. Something to play with. Uh, give me a ring when it all uh, goes a bit squirrely and we'll see what went wrong. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so have a nice day and... Uh, well, I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks very much.